and then one, two, one, two, right, yeah, okay, okay, the clock, okay, the V1 is basically in place, neutral bow to a forward bow. Now, the heel palm, it can go anywhere, okay, we usually put it here, right, okay, but just for today, we dropped it, get the hands in, okay, react, and the kick goes on the end. Now, in two, okay, maybe I can touch him, but my punch won't quite reach, so we shuffle, and then we pull and hit. Now, like I said, if I don't get that, that's fine. It doesn't have to be a pull also. It can be a strike, okay? I mean, does that hurt? I back up to the right, yeah, okay? And then the edge, okay? So close the gap. Now, you can touch him, but you can't quite can't quite fit that in, so we use that push, drag, and drive it. Work it. Awesome. We're going to change the timing on this a little bit, so I'm going to shuffle up, and as I shuffle, I'm just going to back up. And when it reacts, then I'm going to drop one, two, okay? So we're going to kind of work around those arms, so I shuffle, hit that, then go head, body, okay? A little bit of a pause in there, because we're going to, we're going to, we're going to catch them while he's distracted. So we just shuffle, hit the arm, and then one, two, work it. This is taking it up on the idea that the guy's somewhat ready, okay? He's got his hands up and he's somewhat ready. But if I go in and I catch him on the back of the hand with my knuckle, okay, it hurts, all right? But his hands are still up high, so then we put the kick on there. That brings him down and then the punch, heel palm, so we can rearrange it that way. So anyway, the hands are up, boom, I've got his tension. Now I've got that into one, two, okay? Play with it, everything. Okay, Brooksy, all right? Practice it, you know, you get up and see if you can get that in there but before he has a chance to move it, okay? So you make the move, and if I predict it, he's going to see it. But if I want to go from point of origin, I can get it in there. Remember, you're going to knock it down, he's going to bring it back up, okay? So, but at the same time, if you hit, and I'm hitting with the back of the hand. But if I catch him with the knuckle, and I don't want to do that. It's just like if you had a knife and I had a stick, right, Mark, in the, in the Jeet Kune Do, you would take that, boom, and you stick and hit the back of the hand. It's the same concept, okay? So now, get to where this has to move from there to there, a straight line. See if you can hit it before he can get it out of the way. Okay? Work it. So I can get that, get that in there, then that comes out. And then that can be in there, and then I've got that one on there, if you want to prefix with the kicks. So slower, I would cross, tag it, boom, blast that out. Okay? Bounce it in one, two. Okay? Work it. Let's say. I want to go for like a B2, and I move that, and it, and it doesn't miss. I go here, he backs up and he blocks it, okay? Then, the hands are up, it sets up B5 for you. So B5 is a good follow-up for a B1 or a B2 that has failed, okay? So let's just say I go in to get a B2, and it doesn't work, then go right back in with B5 again, which is a step through, because you're distracted, okay? And that's what we're going to get into in a lot of these advances, is, is some of these distractions. So whatever it takes to get his hand, get his hands up, and now I got that, okay, and so forth. So throw him off guard and then hit it. Work it. B five stepping through. You got A or B. This is one easier. Stepping through. 